day viewers you are welcome to another episode of dress and substitute techniques today i want to show you how to make an ankara jacket and it is also called a blazer peplum these are my illustrations i mapped out my breast point line my under bust line and my half length line and i will show you how i arrived at this i have my measurement here my shoulder measurement is 13 inches my round sleeve 11 and 8 my sleeve length 7 and 21 my breast point is 8, 8 and a half, my bust is 32, under bust length is 11, half length is 13 and a half, and blouse length is 21, under bust circumference is 26, and half length circumference is 28. So we are going to use all these measurements to make our jacket now. So how do I arrive at this um, breast point line? My breast point is 8 and a half, 8 and a half plus half inches, which is my sewing allowance that we use to join the shoulder. The shoulder is here. So I'm going to first of all measure that eight and a half inches how will i measure the eight and a half inches i will add I'm, I'm going to add half inches to the eight and a half which which will make it nine inches so my nine inches is here this is my nine can we see that's the line i have my under boss also is 11 plus the half seam allowance which is 11 and a half can we see the 11 and a half this is the 11 and a half and the half length is 13 and a half. You have learned that it's 13 and a half. I'm going to also add half inches um, sewing allowance at the shoulder edge and also another sewing allowance at the that will, that will join the peplum to it. So making 13 and a half plus one inch will now give us what 14 and a half inches. That's how I arrive at the 14 and a half inches here. So my shoulder measurement, my shoulder measurement is 13 inches. 13 inches divided by 2 is 6 and a half. 6 and a half plus half inches sewing allowance for this shoulder also will make it 7 inches. Can we see? From that 7 inches, you are now going to draw 6 inches for your right angle for the shoulder, for the arm hole. So I draw 6 inches to make my right angle. Can you see? This is the right angle. From the right angle, you make, you map out your arm hole measurement. This is my arm hole. You are seeing the map. So from there, you you measure your neckline. How do I get my neckline? From the shoulder measurement, which is in six and a half inches. My neck depth, my neck width is what is two and a half. This is the back measurement. Don't forget, this is the back bodies. The back bodies. You first of all measure the back bodies. Then you use the back bodies to measure the front bodies so the back bodies the neck depth will not be too wide because this is a jacket it is, and i'm going to put a collar so that it will not be too wide from the the neck um, width the neck width is two and a half inches two and a half inches is here then the neck um, depth because of that collar the neck depth will not it will not be too deep you come down by one inch one inch one inch then that one inch you come down here too by one inch then you so this is my neck depth and neck width this is my neck depth so from there i'm going to mount and make a bend here so that the shoulder will not puff up by half inch Then I will link it up to this one. This is to correct the shoulder so that the shoulder will not uh, so that the shoulder will not pop up. Then with this, I'm going to make measure bring out my bust. You know we have measured the bust and circumference. The bust circumference will be the bust circumference is 32. 32 plus 2 inches sewing allowance and my dart. 32 divided by 4 is 8. The two divided by four is eight. Eight plus two inches is ten. The under bust circumference is twenty six. Twenty six divided by four. What are we going to have? We are going to have six and a half inches. Twenty six divided by four will give us six and a half inches. Because six times four is twenty four. Six and a half inches. Six and a half inches plus two and a half sewing allowance. Six and a half inches plus two and a half sewing and plus two inches sewing allowance will give us eight and a half inches. We have my eight and a half inches is here. So 
my half length circumference too is 28. 28 divided by 4 is 7. 7 plus 2, 2 inches sewing allowance that we are adding will give us 9. My 9 is here. Then I will link. I will link the two points up. So all this, I'm going to blend it out. It won't be as 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 sharp as this. The edge will not be as sharp as this. I'm blending it out. So this is your measurement. So from there, you just negotiate your bend to your arm hole. Correct all the sharp edges by blending it out with your hand. So we have our measurements ready. This is our back bodies. Then I'll cut it out because we are going to use these back bodies to cut our front bodies. This is our back bodies. Then you place it on another fabric to get your. This is this is our front bodies that we are placing it on. See how I placed it. No folded end is, is necessary here because it's a wrap jacket. I'm going to make sure I get my dart. My dart is what? My dart is a. Um, the breast point is what I will use for my dart. The, the nipple to nipple measurement is 7 inches. The nipple to, if the nipple to nipple measurement is 7 inches, I'm going to measure 3.7 3. Um, and um, 3.5 here. Because 7 divided by 2 is 3.5. Plus the, uh, the sewing allowance, so I'll measure four inches here. My four inches is here, so that's where my dart line will be. My dart line will be here. So from there, I've mapped out where my shoulder is. Then I'll go, I'm going to map out where my breast point is. This is my breast point. This is my breast, this is my under bust, and this is my half length. So from there. I'm going to map, I'm going to get a dotted line here. I'm mapping out a dotted line to node my center front because I'm going to use it to make the wrap equal. I'm just abbreviating it half length under both breast point. So I can remove it now. Then I'm going to measure my front. How do I measure my front? My front is a wrap. So the wrap will have an extension here from this center back to have an extension of five inches. An extension of five inches is here. Can you see? Then I will draw my line out to meet that five inches. So my extension of five inches ends here. So I'm going to measure how the how deep do I want my front? Because it's a blazer. I want I want the neck to the neck depth to be as deep as possible. So I'm going to measure since my breast point is eight. And you have inches, so you can decide any any measurement you want. Let me go for seven inches depth. Seven inches depth. So the seven inches depth, somewhere here. Seven inches depth. So let's go. This is seven inches depth. We are going to link this line. Link it to this point. Note this point. You are going to link it to this point. From the shoulder, you link it to this point. So let's go. You make a little bend so that it won't be it won't be too straight. So that it will form the neckline. You make a little bend. Uh -huh. So this is what I'm going to follow. This bend is what I'm going. I'm not going to follow that sharp one. I'm going to follow this bend. Uh -huh. So now I have my front bodies this is my front body this is the cutting i will follow i'm going to follow the cutting now then you will see so we can now cut out our front bodies our front bodies is ready so what i'm going to bring now i'm going to bring my back bodies in order to get my dart again you know we have measured the dart already so our dart is is here Don't forget to notch. Our notching starts. This is the dart. This is the center front and center back. You notch it together. 
because of accuracy by the time you start sewing. Is that about to be much? So, this is all we have. By the time you place it together, you have this. You place it together. By the time you sew, you use your lining to turn it together. Then you have this. This is the front, and this is the back. Then I'm going to join it together. I'm going to join the shoulder to shoulder together because I'm going to put a. I want to put a collar. I want to put a collar on this the neckline. So I'm going to join the shoulder to shoulder together so that to get the measurement of the collar. The collar, the collar will start from here and ends here and come back here. So let's go and join it together. You are welcome back. I have joined the shoulder together, shoulders together. So, as you can see, this is the back and this is the front. You are going to measure where you are going to put your collar. And this is where you will measure. You start your measurement from here. Then you go like this. You go like this. You go like this, you come like this. As you are seeing, this is 22 inches. Come like this. This is 28, 30, 32, 34, and the overall measurement is 39 inches. You are going to use this 39 inches to cut out your collar. Can you see? This is the perfect jacket, and this is how you place it. Your center front will meet the center front. The center front of this side will meet the center front of this side. By the time you are joining it together, when you want to join the sides together. We are using this to cut our collar. The depth of our collar, there is, there is a way the collar will come. So first of all, the wideness of our collar, the width of our collar is 4 inches. 4 inches because we are going to fold it. I will show you how that one will be. So you are going to measure 6 inches depth here. From this six inches, I measure six from this up. I measure six inches from up, six inches from that six inches. You are going to measure that the width of your collar. I say is four inches. Add extra inches that you want to use to sew it together. Add it to it. Then when you add that extra inches to that, that will be four and a half here about. It's four and a half. So this is the width of your collar. It comes from year to year. The width of your collar. Then you now come like this. From here, you make a bend. When you measure six inches here, the whole inches of this sheet is what is eleven and a half inches. You measure six inches here before you start your cutting. So from that six inches, you make a bend to reach this edge. So that's what you are going to measure out here. You know the whole measurement of our collar is 39 inches. 39 inches divided by 2, what do we have? We have 19 and a half. So that 19 and a half is what you are going to measure here. Plus half extra inch, which is 20 inches. Oh, this is okay. 20 inches is here. So you come like this. You have mapped out the 20 inches here. Then you bring you are not going to use a straight something. Because if it is straight, it won't form the collar. Then I'm going to make I'm going to make my bend. Follow it like this. So you know this one is also this is the end of my collar. I'm going to also make the go like that. Also, we have four and a half inches. You measure four and a half inches all through, all through, four and a half inches all through. So this is the extreme edge of your collar. When you get to the extreme edge, which is here, you are going to slim your hand by, you are going to go up by two inches. Slim your hand by two inches. Everything that is here must not be more than two and a half inches. Everything that is here must not be more than two and a half inches. So you are going to measure, divide this one into two. Divide your whole measurement into two. Your 19, your 20 and your, your 20 inches into two will give you 10. 
you measure nine and nine here because this one is this place is longer than this you measure nine here when you get to this edge you link these two inches that you measure here to this then now link this so this is this is your color then you cut it out this is your center back this is your center back then when i cut it out now i will show you how it will be on the neck of the jacket this is the shape of our color can you see the shape it's kind of bent here it goes like this and it's bent here too so you cut another facing another one like this to use as a facing when you want to put it on your main uh, fabric you cut another one that you use as a line you, can, you may use the anchor fabric or you cut a line to use as a facing i'm going to sew this i'm going to join this to this then i will show you how it will be let's go and join it After joining it, this is our result. This is the after joining the collar to it. This is the front and this is the back. You can see this is the back. Then let's cut the sleeve and the peplum. We want to measure our peplum. To get our peplum length, what we are going to do is that the blouse length measurement is equal to here. You are going to uh, subtract your half length measurement, which is 13 and a half from your blouse length, your full blouse length, which is 21. If you subtract 13 and a half from 21, what we have is 7 and a half inches. 7 and a half inches. 7 and a half inches, that's what we are going to use to cut our paper. 7 and a half inches plus the seam allowance is, the seam allowance is 1 inch. One inch to turn it here, one inch to turn it in with facing, which is one inch. Seven and a half inches plus one inch is eight and a half inches altogether. From there, we want to measure eight and a half inches here. All we need for our peplum is eight and a half inches. Let's look, eight and a half inches. So here, how, can, how do we get our perfect uh, cone? From there, the standard measurement to measure a cone is by dividing what's our half length circumference our half length circumference is um, 28 inches that 28 inches you are going to divide it by 6.28 which is the standard measurement to get the perfect cone so 6.28 when you divide 28 by 6.28 you have 4.5 4.5 so that 4.5 is what we measure from all the edges 4.5 here 4.5 here that's how i got all this dotted line 4.5 here 4.5 here all true so from there, the full measurement for our peplum is eight and a half. Then you measure eight and a half here. You mark it. That's what I mark out. Eight and a half all through. So then you cut it out. So the sleeve, all we need to measure the sleeve to get the sleeve measurement, you will have the sleeve length. Our sleeve length is um, 21 inches. So we have 21 inches here. You have the border. I have drawn out the border. So the sleeve length, which is 21 inches, is here. Plus sewing allowance, one inch sewing allowance, making 22 inches. We also have another measurement around the upper arm, which is seven inches. The round sleeve there is what is um, 11 inches. So we are going to ma make map out the 11 inches, which is the round sleeve here. 11 inches divided by two is five and a half. Plus one inches and sewing allowance. Which is six and a half. Then we come down here to the round sleeve here around the this uh, ammo and uh, and around the hand is what is a um, eight eight inches eight inches plus one is nine nine divided by two we have a four and a half so we have four and a half here. so we are going to link this one with lines together so when you when you get here you bend your hand out a little you are going to make make sure measure five inches from up here for the hand so what is our ammo our ammo measurement is 16 inches divide 16 inches by two 
when you divide 16 inches by 2, you have it 8 inches. 8 inches plus 1 inch sewing allowance. So I'm going to make sure I get like 9 here. Doesn't matter. By the time you want to sew it, that's when you, you measure the accurate. Um, so that's how your sleeve will be. Then okay? you bend your hand a little. Because this side is angry. So you have your sleeve here. This is your sleeve. Then you cut it out. So we have our sleeve here. So let's join everything together. Our sleeve is ready. Now we have our complete jacket or better still blazer ready now. So we have the upper part. This is the upper part, the peplum, and this is the sleeve. This is the sleeve. Please, if you like this video, don't forget to like, to share, and to please subscribe. Thank you. See you again. Bye.